Over the years, we've seen an increase in the importance of cybersecurity, not just for large organizations and enterprises, but also for individuals like you watching this video who may be a security or privacy enthusiast or someone like my mom or even my grandma who really doesn't know much about cybersecurity. On that note, I want you to share this video with your family members and friends because what I'm gonna show you today could potentially save you and them from cyber attacks that they might be susceptible to. Now, I know the video is just getting started but if by the end of the video you find value in it then be sure to send it to them and don't gatekeep this information now back to the video historically security solutions started from antivirus software do you remember the days of mcafee or the days of avast the people still use those well i don't even know but that's beside the point you see, in 2023, there are several antivirus systems for everyday users and even more endpoint detection and response or EDR solutions being used at the enterprise scale. These solutions for one do not come cheap. But on the other hand, what about the return on investment? Do they really work? Well, the answer is yes and no. I know you want something definitive, but let me explain. The thing is, traditional endpoint security solutions are primarily reactive, and anyone who truly has a forward-looking mind of personal or enterprise security knows that being proactive is a better approach. Hence, the advent of practices and concepts like threat hunting in cybersecurity. Also, these solutions historically, and some modern ones, rely way too much on signatures to identify and block malware. Now, some do rely on heuristics, but that doesn't always work correctly. As a matter of fact, there are various techniques that attackers can sometimes use to bypass these security measures. So do they really work? Well, again, yes and no. You see, there's an even bigger issue of phishing and social engineering attacks. Endpoint security focuses on the device or the host or the server, but behind these devices are actual human beings operating them. A human being like myself or you watching this video. Humans, as they say, are the weakest link. Although I'm not too fond of this phrase because it gives a low sense of responsibility for cybersecurity professionals, there is some tiny bits of truth to it. Modern cyber attacks often use sophisticated social engineering tactics like phishing, which traditional endpoint security measures aren't fully equipped to handle. These attacks trick users into divulging sensitive information or downloading malware. Therefore, bypassing traditional security measures focusing on automatic software-based threats. And since these attacks target human vulnerabilities rather than system or device weaknesses, endpoint security alone is insufficient to protect against them. So what exactly is the solution here? Well, if we're able to put guardrails around how humans interact with links, files, or sites of different reputations, then we can actually stop attacks at the browser level before they even get to the host or server, and then the EDR or antivirus system could be a secondary measure. This is exactly the problem that browser-based security solves. Amongst several possibilities, let's look at three cybersecurity use cases and how browser security can solve them compared to the other security measures. The first thing we'll look at is a phishing attack. This one is very common. Phishing attacks have evolved far beyond simple deceptive emails. Cyber criminals can now use sophisticated techniques like spear phishing and even AI generated emails to target specific individuals or organizations with personalized messages making the deception harder to detect. Take a look at this phishing email for example. This email was sent from offers at chromacove.shop via this particular domain. Now this obviously looks weird and suspicious. It does seem like the actor is trying to mask something by showing me that the email is coming from this person when it's actually coming from this person. And I could dig more into the email header for more details but what if I'm not someone who's really technical like that? Well I see in this email in here it says only $12 for your first year with automatic renewal. It says join or renew now. You can your grip like there's just a bunch of stuff here like i don't know what this is about right it says click here for something it says join or renew so let's actually go ahead and click this so if i go ahead and right click this and select open in square x i can open it in us east or anywhere i want to i'll just i will actually just open this from germany just because i feel like and then square x loads the disposable browser and here we can see this actually leads us to this domain which is mr k 
traycord4.com and it says your server error probably has been taken down whatever the case is so it obviously seems like this was probably like some malicious site that was hosting something weird and i was just able to open it in this disposable browser without having to worry about opening it in my browser without worrying about potentially downloading some malware or worrying about a script uh, potentially downloading my session cookies with a tool like square x you can take the guesswork out using the installed chrome extension i could use a disposable browser to open this suspicious site and inspect it without worrying about a drive-by download or some malicious script stealing my session cookies also if i'm trying to maintain my anonymity i don't want whoever owns this site to know my IP address or my location. So this disposable browser anonymizing my location from anywhere I choose keeps that private for me. And you can actually validate that by running a what is my IP here uh, for Google search. And then if you look here, it's everything is in German, right? I don't understand uh, German, but I'm just gonna just say yes. And then if I click on this, what is my IP address? And it says here, it's 18.158.143. This is definitely not my IP address and I'm definitely not in Frankfurt right now. And this browser is not laggy. It's just as fast as my regular Google Chrome browser. So let's do a quick speed test here. And if we run the speed test Google search and whatever that, well, actually let's do Google translate. All right, so data. So let's go ahead and perform the speed test. and whoa that is fast <laughs> that is pretty fast so it's extremely fast this helps reduce the friction for anyone as it's just a right click away the second use case deals with malicious files or files that we may not even realize are even malicious in the first place. The attacker is very sophisticated and they attach a file that looks enticing. Now, I know better than to risk downloading this malicious file and it running some malicious script on my computer, but then again, what about someone like my mom? Well, she has to know if this file might be important. So again, to take the guesswork out here, we can use Square X's disposable file viewer, which I can use in one of two ways, either directly opening it from this email or dragging and dropping it from my host. I personally love the first option simply because it seamlessly integrates with your browser downloads and it allows you to view the file safely within the disposable file viewer without downloading it to your host. And when you're done, you can dispose of the file viewer and permanently destroy the session, leaving no traces behind. Taking this security use case even further, the Square X Download Interceptor makes this process safer and more efficient. By simply going into the Square X Chrome extension, your profile, the settings, and then the file viewer settings, you can enable the Download Interceptor. This will essentially cause any file that you download to trigger a prompt from Square X. Now let's go ahead and attempt to download to see how this works. If I go ahead and attempt to download this PDF, I immediately get a prompt to view this safely in the disposable file viewer. So Square X essentially uploads the file into the disposable file viewer so that even if the file is malicious, my host remains unaffected and I can safely view the contents of the file. And now within the Square X file viewer, I can expand this and view this PDF file the same way I would view any other PDF file. If you have certain sites that you would like to bypass this feature for, you can simply select the don't ask for this site option and this will simply revert to the regular process of downloading files directly to your host for this specific site. And if you ever change your mind, you can always update the settings by going into the Chrome extension, your profile, settings, the file viewer, and then opening this option to remove the domain exception for this site. And now when we try to download this again, we get a prompt from the download interceptor. In this third use case, let's take a look at it from the perspective of online shopping, which is something that most, if not every one of us does. As you can see on this page, Target is offering a 25% off on their Casaluna betting. But sometimes the catch here is you have to have an account with Target. Now there's nothing wrong with having an account with your favorite online store, but there are risks present with you sharing your primary email address like spam or phishing attempts if the organization eventually gets Gets breached and these phishing attempts could be very sophisticated like spare phishing attempts just because they have context into your email address so what do you do in this case well you can use a disposable email and here again we'll use squarex for this now within squarex you have the ability to create a disposable email and this is a temporary anonymous and secure email inbox and this obviously helps you eliminate spam unwanted ads and malicious threats now with the email that you get there's some flexibility you can either go ahead and just click the email here and copy it or you can actually go ahead and regenerate and it would just randomly regenerate another email for you. Or you can actually manually do this by going into edit, choosing any of the domains here. And let's just go for, for this one. And let's just do John Decker and change. All right, cool. So we have an email that says John Decker at justzeros.com. 
let's go ahead and copy this email and create an account with Target. If we go and sign in and create an account, we can just put the email there and the first name is John, last name is Decker, and a random password here. Keep me signed in and then create an account. We can skip this and boom, we have an account as John Decker. Well, we even have to refresh. We could actually see we got an email from Target right here within with this particular notification and I do have to take out my display here but right here you can see the notification about the target email and if we click into it it opens it within this same sandbox and we can see the email that target sent to us without ever having to use our own email it's still the same John Decker at justuse.com email now obviously the implications of this is we're able to reduce spam and clutter in our email it also enhances our privacy since target can't track my email and preferences and finally obviously it prevents phishing attacks because this email is disposable and temporary and in addition to this any embedded link within the email will automatically open in the disposable browser so if we go ahead and click this link obviously it opened within the disposable browser and to further add on to this with the square x smart integration you can read your emails without alerting the senders of their opening and this feature integrates directly into your gmail without the inconvenience of altering the global settings all you simply have to do is turn it on within the square x chrome extension and then refresh your gmail then you can right click the email you wish to open and then select preview in the enhanced privacy mode so given that the trackers would load you'll be able to discreetly read your emails and leave any prior senders without any notification from their email trackers all in one privacy security and peace of mind as you can see square x is revolutionizing the cybersecurity scene to make users fearless online starting from the right point which is the browser square x is extremely easy to set up whether through the chrome extension which I use and also recommend you download using the link in the description or their web app which is also accessible using the link in the description below. The great thing about Square X is all these features are completely free. The shift from endpoints to browser security marks a very significant evolution in the cybersecurity landscape both for organizations and for individuals like myself and yourself and this transition is driven by the changing nature of cyber threats and how we interact with the digital world. As we can see cyber threats evolve and the limitations of endpoints security becoming apparent, struggling against sophisticated attacks like zero-day exploits, advanced persistent threats, and social engineering attacks. Browser-based security addresses these threats at the point of entry, which is the browser, and it incorporates everything needed to stay proactive against these cyber threats. A huge thank you to today's sponsor, SquareX, for making this video possible, and thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and family to ensure that they stay safe online. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.